we are learning about the operators in the csharp course in few previous videos we have covered couple of operators in this video i'm going to talk about the equality operator the equality operators are used to find out whether two data types or two things are equal or not basically there are only two operators first is the equal and second is the not equal i have also given couple of examples of this equality operator in the previous video in c sharp programming language or in almost all the programming languages if you need to find out whether two things are equal or not then we have to use double equal for that let's see how it will work so basically if i want to find out whether 10 is equal equal 10 then i have to use double equal over here this is something that will compare these two things and it will return the data in form of a boolean parameter right if i will run this application then you will notice you are getting true and this is something that we have done in the previous video as well if you are looking at this concept like this then you will think why we are doing this because anyone can simply tell that 10 is equal to 10 so why we are doing this equal equal over here so basically the concept is that this is not always the case we have to deal with the user inputs as well so for example if i'm having this int a and let's say it has some values and i want to have this int b also it has something different right now I want to find out whether these A and B are equal or not, then I can use this concept. Again you can think that this 10 and 20 are not equal. Now just read this example that we are getting these inputs from a user. How? So basically I am having this convert dot to int and here I am using this console dot read line like this, right? Similarly if I am having this concept over here. I hope the concept of this line is clear to you. If it is not clear, then please watch the previous videos where we have covered this console.read line and we have also covered this conversion method. Now, if I want to find out whether these two things are equal or not, then I have to use this operator, right? Because in this case, the input is not in my hand. It is in the hand of users. User can enter anything over here. Let's run this application. And let's assume that here I'm typing 12, hit the enter button. I'm entering 23 hit the enter button you can notice I'm getting false because these two numbers are not equal and if I want to implement some kind of logic based on the equality of these variables then I have to use this particular concept there is one more very interesting concept it is not only about the numeric numbers let's assume that I'm having this string and let's say its value is null now if c is null then I want to apply some kind of logic so for example I'm using this if condition and here I can write this c equal equal null right if the value of c is null then i want to write something over here and that is why you need this equal equal operator i am not focusing too much on this if block over here because we have not covered these statements in our course so far once we will talk about these if blocks then i will discuss more about these logics and why we are writing inside this bracket or not so basically there are so many things that we will learn during that time here i'm just only focusing on the concept of this equality so for example if here i'm writing this c equal equal null then this is how basically we can find out let's talk about the opposite work the opposite is if i want to find out whether these two things are not equal in that case we have to simply use this not symbol if you will press shift button and the one then you will get this symbol so this is called as not equal and again this is a very basic concept that c is not equal to null let's just comment these two lines also and run this application you will notice we are getting false over here right because c is not equal to null this condition is false because c is equal to null and that is why we are getting this false in this condition right let's just uncomment these two lines a is not equal to b i can also use this kind of condition let's run this application and this time i can enter both these values 12 and let's say 10 i will get true because these are not equal this is how i can work with the equality operators in csr programming language and it is not only about the integers and the string you can also use the decimal type the character type all other things over here you can also compare the objects by using this equal equal operator and this is called as equality operator in csr programming language thank you for watching have a great day